let us discuss about the definition of risk. What is actually risk? Risk is basically the chance that an outcome or investment's actual gain will differ from an expected outcome or uh, expected gain or expected return. So if we think about a business situation, in a business situation, we invest. Uh, we invest, the business organizations invest. And from that investment, uh, normally the investor has a particular degree of expectation. Uh, for example, um, the businessman or bus uh, the business entity may expect that the return will be, let's say, uh, 15%. So that is just an expectation because the return will come in future. So <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you say that, well, this is for sure that we will get 15% return. You cannot really say uh, because future is uncertain. So there is a possibility that the actual return will deviate from this expected 15%. Hmm. So what is the degree of that deviation? The degree of that deviation is called risk. So uh, by risk, we mean the possibility or uh, sometimes we also say the probability or the chance that uh, the outcome of the investment. So what is the outcome of the investment? Outcome of the investment is profit or return or yield you know, or gain, whatever you say. So what is the probability that the outcome of the investment will be different from the expected outcome. For example, we are expecting 15%, but uh, what is the chance that it will be different from 15%? Or what will be the degree of deviation, possible degree of deviation from the expected level of return? So this is called risk. Now, risk includes the possibility of losing some or all of an original investment. So whenever, uh, let's say, you have invested 100 taka and um, you have expected 15 taka profit out of that 100 but ultimately what happened ultimately you have received negative 5 taka so what will happen in that case in that case you are not getting anything extra rather you are even losing 5 dollar of your original investment 5 taka of your original investment so that is that is another, that, that is also part of risk so risk includes the possibility of losing uh, some part of your original investment. Even sometimes you may lose all of your original investment. That is a very extreme case, but it is not impossible. Okay, so risk is uh, related to related to the possibility of unwanted hmm, unwanted outcome. So that is actually risk. So how do we uh, uh, measure? or analyze uh, the risk. Hmm. So for example, to, uh, to measure the risk, we may use different measures like standard deviation. Hmm. In statistics, you have already learned that standard deviation is the measure of the dispersion from the uh, average uh, or mean. How, what is the degree of spread, uh, you know, degree of spreading of the outcome from the average one? So that is the standard deviation. Or uh, some of you have also learned about variance in statistics. So that is also another type of measurement. Risk can also be measured using, uh, using um, for example, beta. Beta is a very commonly used measure of risk in the stock market uh, because it indicates how an individual asset, the return of an individual asset will, um, will be uh, sensitive to the particular movement of the whole market, okay? Systematic risk. So th that is another measurement. Uh, uh, value at risk can be another measurement, which actually measures what is the taka amount or dollar amount of uh, loss you may encounter if an unforeseen event, unwanted event occur, okay? Uh, then um, capital asset pricing model that is also uh, you know that is similar to th that is the same thing we, as I have said about beta. Um, in capital asset pricing model, we try to estimate the possible return depending on the beta or systematic risk. So don't worry if you do not uh, uh, if you have not yet learned how to uh, 
use beta, how to use value at risk, and how to use all these things. Don't worry about that. We will we will learn that and in a short period of time. So the main thing I want to focus here is there are different ways of measuring the degree of risk, measuring the possibility that our outcome, our profit, our gain, our yield uh, will be uh, different from what we are expecting. There are many ways of measuring that. So if you can measure the degree of risk, then you can take preventive measure or preventive, uh, preventive techniques or strategy to eliminate the risk. And if, if it is not possible to eliminate, at least to reduce the level of risk. Okay. So this is the subject matter of this course, actually. Uh, you will learn how to measure different types of risk or analyze different types of risk. And then you will decide how to prevent your organization from that risk or at least to reduce, your, uh, reduce the level of risk for your organization. So in this case, the organization is basically Islamic bank. Okay, so this is about risk.